What's going on guys, Medicine in 3 Minutes back here with another video and we're going to get straight to the point we're going to keep the subject clear, brief, and illustrated. So let's get started. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about dizziness, vertigo, uh, Meniere's disease, labyrinthitis, and vestibular neuritis. And we're going to be talking about mainly uh, the little differences in between each of these diseases that affect the ear. So first of all, we're going to be talking about positional vertigo. Now positional vertigo is when a granular mass uh, that sits on the copula in the inner ear pushes uh, the cilia or the hair on the sensory cells down. Now certain positions such as when your head bent forward or when your head is upright uh, will push the cells more which essentially produces vertigo. And we're going to be talking about cholesteatoma. Now this is a bending tumor like lesion which can destroy the middle ear this time instead of the inner ear and it occurs in the sitting of chronic uh, otitis media. Now here's a little visual representation if you guys like to see and it's important to note that it can cause ear discharge or conductive hearing or even both in the affected ear. Moving on uh, there is vestibular neuronitis and labyrinthitis. Now Vestibular neuronitis is actually a sudden attack of the vertigo and it does cause an inflammation of the vestibular portion of the cranial nerve 8 and the treatment is meclizine. Uh, for labyrinthitis, uh, there's actually an inflammation of the labyrinth in the inner ear this time and there, there, this can cause hearing loss and uh, tinnitus. Now when it comes to what makes them different, now, neuronitis and labyrinthitis, they both usually cause viral inflammation of the inner cavity, but um, when it comes to vestibular neuronitis, it is basically an inflammation of the nerve, which is a sudden onset vertigo. So it can go uh, from hours to days, and it can also cause nausea and uh, vomiting. However, vestibular labyrinthitis is an inflammation of the inner ear slash labyrinth. Now, it is the same symptoms as neuronitis, and... Um, it does have uh, autologic symptoms, but it can also cause hearing loss. Moving on, we have uh, Meniere disease. Now, Meniere disease is actually going to cause vertigo, uh, tinnitus, and fluctuating hearing loss, non-triggered by positional change. So whether you are upright or uh, you are head bent forward, this will not cause uh, a change. Statistically speaking, it uh, generally starts between the ages of 40 to 60, and in 10% of patients, uh, there will be meniers in both ears. Now, uh, when it comes to how it feels, uh, the patient will generally feel like the ear is completely blocked off or there is a lot of uh, pressure filling up the ear. Next is uh, presbycusis. Now, this is one of the easier ones. It is generally just a progressive loss of sensitivity to high frequency with age. So essentially, the older you're getting, uh, the harder it is to detect high frequencies. Uh, herpes zoster oticus is when the cranial nerve 8 uh, ganglion is actually infected by uh, HZV, which is herpes zoster uh, virus, and it does cause severe pain, vertigo, hearing loss, and in some cases even facial nerve uh, palsy. Now uh, for parallel fistula and acoustic neuroma, there's actually one difference between the two. They both generally cause uh, hearing loss and tin uh, tinnitus. But uh, when it comes to parallel fistula, uh, it, it does come with a history of trauma. And for acoustic neuroma, it's actually with a history of ataxia. So yeah, here's again a little uh, summary of everything we've just learned today. If you guys would like to take a look at this, maybe look at the general points, look at some of the visuals. Uh, yeah. So that sums up this episode of Medicine in 3 Minutes. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. We really appreciate the support. We're almost at 200 subscribers. So please leave a like, subscribe, and don't forget that success is contagious, so you never know what could happen. So thank you guys so much for the support. Leave your uh, feedback in the comments. Let us know if we did anything wrong, if we'd like some clarification. Yeah, so thank you guys so much. Enjoy the rest of your day.